Next up is uh, Hector and Dieter. We're going to talk about the birth of HPC in Cuba. Okay. <clears throat> Good morning. <clears throat> My name is Hector, and I'm happy to be here to tell you what we are doing for for making uh, HPC service available for Cuban scientists. Uh, the logos you can see are institutions that are supporting our projects. The BLIR US, that is the Flemish uh, University Council. Also, BRED.CU is a collaboration project with Flemish University and six Cuban universities, where three of them are very involved in this project that we called HPC. Cuba. As uh, we want to make uh, HPC service available uh, for all Cuban scientists, so our mission is to provide a centralized access to HPC infrastructure, also uh, to offer training to our HPC staff, and also to support our users belonging to the higher education system, and also to our uh, research institution in Cuba. Uh, the HPC Cuba project that we can also call Cuba Center for Academic Supercomputing. Uh, it was sought with uh, a geography distribution of the HPC infrastructure in three main points in Havana, Santa Clara and uh, Santiago de Cuba in three universities, the University of Informatic Science in Havana, the Central University of Las Pillas in Santa Clara, and University of Oriente in Santiago de Cuba. Some facts about Cuba. So Cuba is the biggest island of the Caribbean. Uh, also with the tropical climate, uh, it's a tourist destination. Also, uh, the, our high education standard is true. So uh, we are friendly people. So. Cuba is also a safest place in America, but we are still living under the USA embargo, so it causes us some uh, limitations like the bandwidth or also restricted access to the information and internet because some sites are broken our Cuban IPs. So also the access to the infrastructure become problematic sometimes. An important remark, <coughs> eh? it's the uh, Americans blocking their sites for Cuban access. It's not the Cuban government blocking the access for the Cuban population. It's the other way around. Many people think it's uh, the other way around. Okay? Thank you for the clarification of that. Uh, this is Cuba. We are very close to USA, Florida. So you can find us the map. Uh, okay, uh, this project idea started in 2015. When we start two small uh, HPC clusters, one in Santa Clara, user B, and the other one in Oriental University in the eastern part of the country. But our goal is to provide the access to the whole country. Now, installing a new one in Havana in the University of Informatic Science. Maybe you have heard about the Linux Nova distribution that was, uh, was developed there. But also in Cuba, you can take a walk, uh, riding uh, nice old cars, and enjoy the Malecon during the evening. So in Santa Clara, uh, you can find the Central University of La Pilla with um, a very uh, nice uh, university campus in a very natural environment with a lot of streets. And also, you can find beautiful beaches in the north coast uh, of the province. So in Cayo Santa Maria, where we have held uh, many workshops regarding ICT. Uh, in Oriente, uh, it's also a nice place with a very friendly people uh, where Belgians become uh, Cubans so immediately. So it's difficult to recognize to Dieter, but maybe because he is taller than Cubans. So uh, highlighted in red, the uh, HPC cluster in University of Oriente, also in University of Las Villas, 
Uh, what we are doing right now, so our plan now immediately for 2017 is to insert two IBM uh, cluster with a capacity of about six, uh, 600 cores and one terabyte of RAM in Havana and Santa Clara. Also in Santa Clara, uh, a big data cluster uh, with 20 servers and two NVIDIA uh, GPU cards. And in Oriental University, a Dell server with similar, a Dell cluster, sorry, with similar uh, capacity, but using uh, infinite band technology uh, for in the interconnectivity. So that is what uh, we are talking about. Mm -hmm. So uh, one of these in Oriente was already a start, uh, where either John and other specialists are working hard. Mm -hmm to make this possible. So it is uh, our goal for, for this year. So maybe we can remark here that the hardware is donated by Ghent University. Yes? It's impossible for CUME universities to buy IBM or Dell or HP hardware. It's illegal for Dell to export to Cuba. Yes? If a Dell salesperson sells to a CUME univer university, he loses his job. Okay. But Thanks okay. to a collaboration with the Flemish universities, we've been able to <coughs> establish uh, some uh, infrastructure in Cuba. Okay. Uh, so everything we are using is uh, free software. So, so far, uh, we have Debian as operating system that using Turkey, PBS, and Maui uh, for managing uh, queues and jobs. Uh, also, it's in Ganglia for monitoring purposes. But we are exploring a new alternative uh, for the new implementation, maybe using CentOS and Slur, uh, and maybe other things. So that is what we are thinking about. We are exploring uh, to do that. Uh, we have offered uh, web portals to support uh, users. Uh, so this is another example in University of Oriente. Also a wiki, and sorry for the language, it's called for Cuban users. Uh, and also uh, building different uh, ways to access uh, to the cluster or for monitoring purposes. For example, you can access uh, using SSH, uh, for look the QS state, you can do that. Also, uh, using the web interface, the same for the job states. It's more comfortable for non-IT uh, user to use uh, the web access. And also, uh, you are creating some templates uh, for a script to submitting jobs. And in the web, web via web also is possible. Uh, so now we can see how many institutions in Cuba are using our HPC uh, facilities. And also you can find, uh, so, a user from BUV, so I, n I have no idea what he is doing in our cluster, but okay, he's here. Also, uh, people from uh, Brazilian, from Brazilian University, because uh, you are helping us and we are helping uh, Brazilian guys, so so we are happy with that, uh, with the uses that we are. That is a, a lot of Cuban universities in, in, in different provinces. So, yes, yes. Maybe allow me to remark: there are a yeah. lot of universities in Cuba. Yes, a lot of very small universities. Almost every little town has its own university. So we have uh, uh, infrastructure in the three main, the biggest, the three main universities of the island, and. As you can see, the infrastructure is working well already on a high level using nothing but free and open source uh, solutions. And all kinds mm -hmm. of institutions and research institutes are using already our infrastructure. And that's yeah. what this, this graph shows. Okay, so uh, some examples of scientific resorts uh, in Cuba using our ASPC, uh, for example, for uh, video encoding in the Cuba uh, digital television broadcasting, for example, and also for uh, signal processing using neural ne ne networks for health applications, 
also from the environment, and uh, also for the chemistry application where uh, they could uh, do the job with a very good laptop with uh, 16 years run. It was not possible, but in our close and oriented university, in 15 minutes it was solved. So, uh, other um, scientific uh, papers. So, it's just to have an idea that our um, uh, scientists in Cuba are using our what we are doing. Huh? So now uh, we have a, a national strategy that includes uh, capacity building. So it will be important for us to train our HPC staff, uh, developing training or workshops. It could be in Cuba or in Belgium. Uh, also uh, supporting uh, the users and establishment of uh, synergies with all institutions. So this is our national strategy. Uh, this is, uh, it was uh, our first uh, workshop uh, in Santa Clara uh, with the participation of um, uh, a HPC expert from Gain University. It was uh, sponsored by Blear. Uh, so we can see is, uh, Alvaro. You can see him here. So yes. Alvaro is so uh, here. Experience of working, uh, with Cuban so Alvaro could be a very good reference uh, uh, of Cuba and um, our job. <laughs> also, Rudy is here and Dieter, okay, of course. But also uh, some people from uh, Ecuador and Peru were trying because it had uh, regional impacts also. And of course, uh, for our national strategy, we have to face uh, some drawbacks. For example, the bandwidth, uh, also, um, also the access policy, because sometimes the SSH ports are blocked uh, when you go from another institution to another. So we have to, to face that. Also, some blackouts that we have, and of course, the USA trade embargo is still present, and nobody knows what will Trump do in the future regarding Cuba. So we have to see. But now we are uh, we are focused and to develop a centralized authentication system with um, a national uh, front end. Uh, also to improve our grades, our storage uh, capacity, train our people, and make easier the user's installation by using some facilities that we will show now. Uh, this is uh, a, our user management approach mm -hmm. with uh, national front end, with uh, centralized authentication with redundancy, also the login nodes that are connected to the head of the cluster, and also uh, access to Scratch user infinite band and to the home of the user of the data user in our five system. So this is uh, so the... So actually the, the infrastructure is working at the separate universities and what we're working on now is like a layer on top of that to have national user accounts. So if you have a user account mm -hmm. for HPC Cuba at your home university, you can access the infrastructure at another university. Uh, also for making easier the installation for users, uh, we are planning to use easy word uh, where we can say that uh, we already have a Cuban contribution to the easy word uh, community developing the JATE, for example. I know that Kenneth, Kenneth uh, has been our guide and also a supervisor of our developers. So we are also working, in, uh, helping something with the clip or open forum. So uh, maybe can I can explain much more. <laughs> okay, so it's a sample of the uh, JIT installation developed for our staff in Cuba. Um, so, guys, uh, we need uh, HPC expert like you to join us in this street to make it possible. Okay, so thank you very much for your attention. Thank you, Hector and Peter. Questions? Well. You said uh, you've got an Howard process. How many cores per socket? And the, the Howard, how about six? 
If you're learning questions, repeat the question. Yeah. Ah, yeah. <coughs> well, the the hardware we're using yeah. is. Uh, ah, okay. I was going to say you shouldn't look in that as a lesser generation. Those processes are very efficient for HPC code. Yeah. Today, when people are procuring systems, we're, we're getting 10, 12 core processes from in, until pushed pushed onto us, and, and they really they really aren't all that efficient. Yeah. You, 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 you get memory bandwidth problems, and, and you know, I mean, you should do some work on on how efficient those processes are, maybe versus one in, with more. Uh, Okay. Well, you see, actually, we're just um, we're using uh, the hardware that we can get our hands on. Yes, we don't really have the liberty to choose the hardware. We're well, just happy to receive the these. These were good clusters working very well at Ghent University. They were decommissioned for all kinds of reasons, and instead of um, throwing them into the, 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 the furnace, we decided to export them to Cuba and donate them to Cuban University. If you have another cluster available for us, please uh, help us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so just wondering, uh, where can we find uh, more information about the, pro the ongoing projects and, and that you're asking for, for HPC experts to get involved? Yes. Um, what are the opportunities available? Like, where can mm. we find more information? Please send us an email so we have your email, and then we can see. So um, back. Yes. In the future. Uh, we are always organizing trainings. Cubans are coming to Belgium. See, uh, Hector is here right now. Um, we are sending experts to Cuba every time we have funds. We get funding from the Flemish Inter-University Council. Mm -hmm. And the deal is basically that it's volunteer work, but you get your ticket paid, your hotel there is paid, you get a per diem. And what we see is people go there and then they stay for an extra week, extra two weeks to go on holiday. And so it's just fine. Yeah, we are right now applying for, um, for a call. So, uh, we can promise anything, but uh, maybe for the next three years we can have some budgets supporting our projects. So we will need some uh, Europe experts to support us, to teaching our staff, so our staff can come here and uh, our trainers can go to Cuba also. So the question is about the electricity. Yeah. Uh, do we use UPS or do we generate our own electricity? Um, well, the experience is that um, the electricity in Cuba is, is unstable. It's very normal to have small outages. We use UPS mostly to stabilize the, the, the mains current and we have generators also. Yeah. But outages are quite common. Yeah. So uh, we're, we use UPS also some inverters with batteries. It's not exactly UPS. And, uh, of course, also generators. Please. Yes? Uh, it, it seems like for you it's, it's kind of an issue to get uh, your hands on, on hardware because everything, mostly everything is controlled by, by the U.S. The embargo. Did you look into uh, open hardware uh, solutions or on now there are some amazing integrators for Yes. So the the question is, uh, maybe we should focus on uh, open <coughs> hardware or uh, uh, open the open DC uh, infrastructure instead of looking for uh, U.S. hardware providers. Um, yeah, maybe we can look into it, but for right now. I think uh, financially, it would be very difficult for us to to start building or to start looking in that direction. From up until now, we've depended on free hardware. Yes. So free is always cheaper than <laughs> than maybe open can be. Yeah? <laughs> yes. The HPC will be used only for scientific research or yeah. also for public service. Okay, it, it could be used for anybody. So we are focused mainly now in this uh, first step in scientific community because our, the people that uh, have more uh, needs about HPC. But for one of the examples that I showed regarding to the video encoding for the 
uh, national uh, Cuban uh, digital television broadcasting is not for uh, scientific uh, purposes. It's just for storage uh, the um, the materials uh, in the format that they need, uh, also for the broadcasting to the to the Cuban people. Any more questions? Okay. If not, Thank thanks you. again to the <laughs>